Hello everybody. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a simple cut edit with Vegas Pro. Vegas Pro 17 I'm going to be using. And I'm going to show you also how to overlay text over a video. So, let's open up Vegas Pro. So, if you have it installed already, it should be in your programs folder here. You search, you search for Vegas Pro 17.0. You click that. You go down all the way to where you see Vegas 17.0 XE. You click that. And then this pops up. So this is, this is your uh, your video strip section here. This is the section here which you control the layers when you add a video. This here is the, the screen in which the video will play in, so you can see everything you're editing. This here is like the effects tab here. But first, let's open up the video. We're going to open up a video that I shot yesterday with a friend of mine, and it's me in my neighborhood here. It's me standing to the side here. So we'll play the video here. Here. Can we just... There you go. I am there. I'm looking straight. Is my whole body visible now? Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Alright. As you can see, there's a lot of parts we don't really want here. Like, for example, my shirt is <laughs> not all the way to my pants, so that kind of looks stinky. So to do that, we want to get rid of all this section here, up to about there. So you just have this video to about here. To do that, what you do is you click on the video that you add here, and you right click, and this will bring up this whole tab. So then you click this button here that says split. And now we just split this into two video sections. It's the same file, but it's two sections now. So, if we just right-click this, and then click delete there, that's gone. So now we just have this section here. And can you get like a good, is my whole body visible now? Yep. So now we want to kind of cut this section here to the beginning, so we just have the end section. So we just do that again, you right click, and it's usually the first thing that pops up right after you right click is split. Split that, click this again, right click, delete, and there you go. We just have this video here. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Again. And that's this. Now we just have this video. So now we want to add text. To add text, what you do is you go to the button here up here on the on this little section here between the <coughs> where the video layers are here and here. There's this section that says Media Generators. You click Media Generators, if it's not already selected itself. You then go up to Tiles and Text. Oh, and before you add the text, what you want to do is you right-click the bottom of the video layer thing here. And then you 
click insert video track. This will insert a track above the video track that we already have. So you can add like another video overlaying it. But, but now we just want to add text. So what we'll do is we'll drag this from here. Sample text all the way to here. And there we go. Got the sample text overlaid on the video here. Now what I usually do is I add a drop shadow to <coughs> excuse me to the text so it's easy to see because if you, if you put the text like over here, you can't see it because the sun's in the way in the video. It's all bright there. So what I do is add a drop shadow. So you go to this tab in the thing that popped up here. This is the outline. So what you do is you scroll down here on the outline color. And I usually pick a black color here or something around here. And then you drag this bar here this and as you see it's starting to edit the text up here it's starting to get a little more of a thicker drop shadow I usually go all the way up to 10 on the outline width sometimes I might go to like 7 between 7 to 10 that's usually a good thickness you can go even more like you can change it here to be like 35 but then it usually looks a little bit off here. But depending on what you're using, it could look good or bad. So we're going to pick 10. And then to resize this, as you see, there's these four things that pop up here. But to resize this, you have to be in this box here. So if we close out this, you'll see that the, th the little four s squares there around the text goes away. So we can't edit that. So what you do is you go back to this, the text on the layer here, you go to Generate Media, which is the, the, le the left, excuse me, the left icon here. You click that, and then you see you have the four squares again. And then you resize this, and let's put it like towards the top. And then on the thing here, let's type type a nice message. Stand like stand too. So that's it. So we have the text there. Now, if you've seen in a lot of the videos that I put out, a lot of the vlog videos and a lot of even like some of the Go Animate videos I do, you'll see that the text kind of fades in and fades out. And to do that, you go all the way to the left of the layer, the text layer here, and there's this, these two things on the end here, these little buttons here. You hold, you left click it with your mouse, and then what you do is you drag it Forward like this, so that on the timestamp there it says one minute or one or one second there. It's yeah you know, one zero dot zero zero. That's one second. So that means when you start the video, the text won't be there. But what will happen is it will then start gradually fading in like that. You can go even deeper like this, you can do two seconds. So it fades in like that. And then what you do is, on the other end here, you can fade out even more. Like this. And just like that. And you notice that the video stopped before the text was done fading out. So to edit that, you hold the text layer itself, and then you drag this to here, so, so that both the layer that the text, excuse me, the layer that the text is on, and the video 
are the same exact area. That way when we render it, there's no like overlapping or underlapping layers. So the video will look like this in the final product. like that. <laughs> so, we have the video here that we want to render and upload somewhere. So how do we do that? And what I usually do is I go above the video here and it will drag a rendering spot, which is this yellow thing right here. So, drag that like that. This yellow and black bar is what gets rendered when you compile it. So now, what we're going to do is go to File, Render As, oh, and also you probably want to save this, also you want to save your work like every five minutes or so. So we'll just call this Standing Like a Statue have that. So after we save a file, what will happen is if we close the program, it will then, when we relaunch the program, it will go directly back to this video. It's a nice, it's a nice feature that uh, Vegas Pro has. And then we want to render this. So we render as, we click that, and here's all these options that you can do. The option that I use as a format is Sony AVC MVC, and I've made a lot of custom different rendering uh, options here, but I can show you how to do that. So, for example, like here you have 1920 by 1080p, and that's the resolution that my monitor is. So render it at that and you don't like see the option, so what you do is you have a template here, so you click customize template if you want to make it a certain bit rate. Customize template. And let's make this let's put a random number like 18. So you put the you type 18 over there and then what you do is Type 18 on the bitrate section, and you probably also want to make, if, if your video is 60 frames per second, you want to make sure it says 59.94. If it's 30 frames per second, then you want to make sure that this frame rate thing says 29.97. But this is a 60 frames per second video, so we're going to use that. Then, you just click that. And then the template that we just made will appear right here. So we use that as the renderer. So now we have the video name here. We have what's selected as the template we want to use for compiling. So now we just click render. And now it's rendering the video. As you see here. So now we go back to the video that we go to the area that it saves the video. For me, it's the video folder. This is the video. Perfect. And that's it. That's how you render, that's how you add text, and that's how you save and also compile your videos into Vegas Pro. So, I just figured I'd show people that because a lot of people wondered what I use for the program to render my videos, and that's pretty much all there is. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and if you want any more videos like this, just post in the comments, and I'll see what else you want me to do. Well, have a good day.